There's a man out there who dazzles us with a dose of science every single time he makes an appearance. So we're very glad to have Mr. Science, Jason Lindsay, back with us this morning live on Skype. He's doing a little uh, back to school science for us this morning. Good morning, my friend. Can you hear him, Steve? I cannot. Oh, there we go. All right, now we got the audio. All right, go ahead. Yes, can you believe it's back to school already? Before you know it, we'll be talking about pumpkins, turkeys, and then Christmas presents. Oh, oh gosh. Hey. Well, <laughs> let's focus on just back to school. Okay, yeah, we're not exactly. ready for Christmas yet, Jason. But uh, what kind of science experiments do you have for the back to school season this year? You'll notice that I have a giant crayon in front of me. It's hollow on the inside, so you really can't use this to color with. But on the inside of there, I have some vinegar. Vinegar is something we might put on a salad. You know, it smells unique. We're going to make this crayon explode right here in the science lab. Hopefully, your kids' crayons do not explode. You don't want exploding crayons in your pencil box. Over here on this napkin, I have something called baking soda. I'm going to mix together vinegar and baking soda to get a reaction that should cause my crayon. Uh-oh. You notice what I almost did? I forgot to put my goggles on. That's so important, kids. Safety Don't first. eat or drink your science experiments. Make sure there's an adult around and wear the appropriate safety gear. I'm going to go ahead and mix these together just like this. And you're going to notice an explosion that's going to take place. We're mixing together these ingredients. On the inside, a chemical reaction is happening. We're going to mix it up really good. Oh, and hello. <laughs> there it goes, right there, <laughs> the exploding crayon. So yeah, you don't want this in your pencil box, right? I, I would say not. That would be a little bit of a safety hazard in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but a fun one. You may not have this gigantic crayon, but you can always mix together in a bowl uh, some vinegar and baking soda with some food coloring and have a back-to-school potion right there in your kitchen. Just don't do it over the couch. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This next experiment has to do with something you would find in your pencil box, and that is an index card. You know, you might write down some notes on an index card. I also have underneath my science table here a glass of water you'll see it right there what i'm going to do is place the index card on top i'm going to get a little closer so you can see this because this is pretty cool okay so you'll notice how i have everything set up right there have the water here this is what you want to do over your co-anchor's head you want to take <laughs> then put everything just right now sometimes we make a big mess here so we'll see if this works out just right Ooh. Okay, and you'll notice, look at that, I lost some water, but it's staying just like that. And the reason why is because air is pushing up again. Oh, and there we go everywhere, all over the place. That's when you want it to be over your co-anchor's head, right? <laughs> I need a, need a ladder to put that over Steve's head, That's but I point. will try, Jason. Steve's I will pretty try. tall? Oh. A little bit. Does he drink a lot of toilet water? That's what makes you tall, right? <laughs> He said it. Mr. Science said it. Steve. Yes, exactly. That's true. I'm joking can't say aside. It. Okay, do we have time for one more? We do, absolutely. Go for it. We have. Okay, cool. So this next one has to do with an egg drop. You know, it's all about getting kids excited to go back to school. So much has been going on. Uh, kitchens have been turned into science labs. Parents have become science teachers. And it's important for parents to understand that you don't have to be a scientist like me, a meteorologist, or maybe whatever. The list goes on for scientists uh, to actually teach science. Just have some fun. Let kids know that accidents can happen. Let them know that the experiment doesn't always work the first time. So this egg drop does include a raw egg. I'm going to put my pie pan right on top like that. I'm going to put a toilet paper tube on top of that one and then put an egg on top of that. Okay. Oh, quick dad joke for you. Why do ants not get coronavirus? Do why you know that? why? Why? Because they have antibodies. Oh, <laughs> oh Jason. Oh, I love dad jokes. <laughs> Oh, that makes me smile. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's the key, especially with this gigantic pandemic. We got to smile every once in a while. Okay, so I have everything set up. How do I get the egg in the vase of water without breaking the egg? Do you have a hypothesis? Uh, you, you're going to whack the pie pan? That's my guess. With something? I don't that know. That is a Good hypothesis, yes. But here's the deal. If you have like a preschooler, they're going to want to keep whacking. So as soon as your hand touches the pie pan, you're going to want to stop. 
If everything works right, the egg should go in. It's all about pushes and pulls. Okay, let's get to it. Three, two, one. <laughs> wow. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Pretty cool. Wait, did, is it okay? Went right into the vase. Do what now? Is the egg okay? Did it make it? The oh, egg is okay. Let me go ahead and pull. Oops, I'm going to let some leak out here. Uh -huh. And the egg, yes, it's okay. Let me show it to you. Not broken at all. Perfect. It's just fine. It is a raw egg. Now, remember, kids, before doing those science experiments, have the parents around. Make sure you don't eat or drink your science experiment and have all kinds of fun. What do you best. think? What was your favorite one? I, I love that one. It I, was I, excellent. They were all cool, although the uh, excellent. It was real excellent. Man, we are all about dad jokes right now. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Man, he's I, the best. I love it. Every time he's on, he has something really cool to show us. Yeah. Cool.